Remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to keep up to date with our latest videos. Roads and Traveled family, my name is Marcus, and this is a 1991 Nissan Figaro. A very quirky car that was built for only two years in Japan by Nissan, the same people who, yes, brought you the R32 GTR at the same time. It's got a 1,000cc engine, turbocharged under the hood, only makes 77 horsepower, uh, and it's a funky car. It's kind of a convertible, but it's kind of not, so we're just going to take it out onto the open road in the city and see how it does. All right, you guys, what is going on? We are in a Nissan Figaro. Uh, you probably have never heard of this vehicle before, uh, and I didn't really know what it was until a friend of the show, Charles, was like, hey guys, my wife has this dope daily uh, that we imported from Japan, and you've probably never heard of it. They only made it for two years, uh, and it has a turbo on it, and it's super funky. It's kind of like a half convertible, as you can see, open top, uh, and it's a great city car, okay? This thing weighs 1,800 pounds, 1,800 pounds. It's got a 1,000cc four-cylinder turbo under the hood, front-wheel drive with a three-speed automatic transmission. So it's basically the same gearing of what the four-speed autos would be, um, but it just doesn't have an overdrive. So right now we are in third gear, 70 kilometers an hour, turning uh, 2,800 RPM. So it's not the greatest on the highway. That's why we're sticking around here in Richmond in the city um, because Charles is like, okay, this isn't a freeway car. We're not doing a performance test. Uh, and we're just gonna see what the car is like. It does have a lot of stuff in here though. Uh, it's got AC, it's got um, really funky looking gauges. Everything in here looks like it's from like the 40s or 50s. This steering wheel is very thin and very small. Um, and you know, it it's kind of, honestly, the color's kind of gross. It looks like a kitchen appliance or like a, a bathroom appliance or something. <laughs> but it's fine. What a trip though, this thing's cool. So Nissan made 8,000 of these originally uh, in 1990, and then a bunch of people bought them and they're like, we gotta make more. And then they made about 12,000 more. Um, so a total of about 20,000 or so. And then they just stopped production. They just never made it again. So this is a, not a limited production car, but be, it being a car that was only made for like two years, uh, it's pretty rare, especially here in BC. I don't think there's many more of these in BC, if any. Um, you've got these really cool looking gauges. All of the gauges, including the windows over here, look like uh, a seashell. And that is the logo of the car, the Figaro. It looks like a seashell. But because this thing's so light, it's not actually that slow. And I'm very surprised at how smooth this transmission is, if I'm being completely honest right now. Now, it's got 165 section tires all the way around. Uh, very skinny, very skinny. It would be very interesting to see what this thing is like in the corners. I would imagine it would be kind of similar to the AW11 MR2 that I drove recently, or like an NA Miata in terms of you can feel the sidewall flex and you can feel the suspension kind of go around, like even like Whoa, so much body roll. That's kind of scary. 
I don't know. That's kind of freaky. Here, I'll do a little swerve here. You'll see it when I go around this corner right here. You'll see it's very, it's like a boat. It is like a boat, but it's pretty comfortable. These seats are nice. Um, you've got a cup holder, you've got your um, toll reader, which basically every car you import from Japan uh, will have a toll reader in it that talks to you when you first start out the car. Uh, I got rid of mine in my Amber too a long time ago. A lot of JDM cars also have uh, TVs on the dash when you import them. This is cool. So. <laughs> Another cool quirk, uh, you have, you can adjust your vents, right? So you've got uh, either cold or hot, and then somewhere in the middle, and you've got like clicks there. I don't know what each click means, but, and then you've also got where the air is going. So on the left, it goes to your face. <laughs> in the middle, it goes to your foot. Um, and then on the right, it says death. Is it a good looking car? No, no, <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, in my humble opinion, it's not. Is it a funky looking car? Absolutely, it's like half a convertible. It's kind of a convertible, uh, but at the same time, not really. Um, great daily though. It does have back seats. Um, obviously right now you can see this one's flipped uh, down, so there's no practicality there, but it does have back seats uh, and it does have an open top, which is definitely good to have. It's not, it's not what I would call spacious in here, absolutely not. All right, a little slow on the kick down. Took me, a, took me a second there to kick down gears. It's a nice cruiser though. I could totally cruise around town in this thing. This is great. Honestly, less play in the steering than I would have thought. Definitely. All right. Take it into some corners here. See how that body roll is. Probably be able to see it on camera a little bit. Whoa. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. 5,000 RPM. And in the third. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> what a funky car. What a funky car. Oh. Oh, we just killed that bird. Oh, oh. We just killed that bird. All right, go. Go. Figaro, go. Wow. Like, look at this. <laughs> wow. That is the most body roll I've ever felt in any car ever. Without a doubt without a doubt. Confidence inspiring, no, but everybody smiles when they see this car. And it's not even like it's bright yellow or bright red or anything. This is a gross color and the most generic like Toyota Camry color you can think of. And yet people spot this car out of a lineup of other ordinary cars uh, and it just looks funky. It's kind of cool. So this is what I'm saying when like up here in BC, we get a lot of really cool JDM imports. Now this is a 91, so you can get this in the States. Um, not that, I don't know why you would want to import this in the States other than like a Skyline R34 sedan, not GTR, but you can get for around the same price, you can get an R34 G or an R34 Skyline sedan or like an R32 GTST or something um, for around this price. They're very different cars. These gauges have got to be some of the coolest gauges I've seen. Like this is 91 and it's almost like they were trying to already throw it back to the 50s or the 40s uh, with this car or even the 60s to be honest. And just like all JDM cars, uh, they don't have cup holders. SW20 MR2s don't have cup holders and same with this, a very practical kind of hatchback looking thing does not have cup holders. Uh, it just does not make any sense to me. So you have to buy these little plastic ones that go in the vents and very often actually break your vents. Uh, when you try to take them off. But let's go around this corner. Oh yeah, lean into it, lean into it. Fast, no, but here's the thing. Every car does not need to be fast, okay? This thing boasts a massive 77 horsepower, okay, at 6,000 RPM, but it weighs 1,800 pounds. You cannot argue with this. This is 1,000 pounds lighter than my SW20 MR2 Turbo, which is like 
a thousand pounds lighter than a brand new Mustang GT or something. I don't know if their Mustangs are that heavy, but. My future needed clarity so I could see how you react. See, we got some fans already over here. They're really loving this. That's why you get... What's that? It's a Nissan Figaro. They, they only made it for two years. It's my buddies. We're filming for YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good day. Look at that. Everybody loves the Nissan Figaro. <laughs> Everybody loves it. So it's pretty cool. This this brings smiles to people's face, and uh, honestly, I think that's its greatest asset. Its engine isn't anything special, I don't think. Uh, the interior is really cool, and it looks really cool. Those are the other two things. But uh, aside from that, the smiles that it brings people is just awesome. Priceless. Priceless. All right, we're taking it up to highway speeds. 100 kilometers an hour. pretty good. We're turning almost 4,000 RPM though. It does have a turbo, right? So if you're not in boost, you're effectively, you know, only ever using 20 horsepower less. Uh, but then once you get into boost, it's using all 76 horsepower, all 6,500, or no, this revs to like 6,700 RPM. Pretty good. Revs higher than a 90s Mustang, that's for sure. Got ya. <laughs> does not take speed bumps very well. Not that it's harsh, but it just, <laughs> yeah. It's like my car on coilovers, to be honest. But this is, this is a car you can finesse. This is a very finesse car. It's very dainty. It is a very dainty car, which is why this is not, this is not Charles' car. He is not just saying that. <laughs> this is actually his wife's car. Uh, and when he told her that he, she wasn't gonna be able to drive it today because we're filming with Roads Untraveled, uh, she was not very pleased. It's a pretty cool car, and I, I could see how you would fall in love with this car. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, and I would imagine fairly reliable. Anyways, we're going to cut this video down because it is pouring rain right here at, uh, at YVR Airport in Vancouver. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out Charles for bringing out this car, for letting me drive uh, your wife's Nissan Figaro. For the record, Charles owns three, no, four R34 Skyline GTRs, an R33 Skyline GTR, an R32 Skyline GTR, uh, and a few other cars. The same, uh, the same Charles that imported the R34 GTRs in the video you saw like a year ago uh, that blew up. You guys can check out his website, CW Collective, in the description. If you wanna see more Skyline stuff, definitely hit up his YouTube channel that he's just starting up also by the name CW Collective. Let's get him up to, I don't know if he's at a thousand subscribers yet, but if he's not, let's get him to a thousand subscribers today, right now, okay? So smash his subscribe button, smash our subscribe button, hit him up on Instagram, hit us up on Instagram, and we'll see you next time. This thing's great. It was dope. Some, some family at a stoplight was, uh, they wanted me to roll down the window. They were like, hey, what kind of car is that? So it's all on camera, it's great. <laughs>